What is up, Leo? It's your girl, Isabella Tara Tarot, back at again, going to hit you with your what you need to know in this time reading. My readings are timeless, so when you see this, it's simply when you meant to see it. Don't forget to hit the like button, share, and subscribe to the channel if you like the content. If you're a hater, just click the X at the right of your screen. It's really good. These are general messages. Not every message will be yours. Take what you need, leave the rest. If you need to check your other placements, please do. There will be um, a playlist at the end of this video. If y'all are wanting to book with me, you can book with me through my Etsy Spiritual Shop or you can cash at me. All the information will be listed in the description box below along with the Patreon where we upload every day. Okay, there have been changes made to the Patreon. So if you are um, going over there and you're on the new $10 tier, make sure you send me your messages before like your yes or no question before the... 15th i think yeah anyway let's see what y'all gonna see this week what is going on for the leos or something dealing with the leo this week what's going on with that this week okay we've got vision visions we've got past we've got doppelganger and then we've got distant future pull one more some oh, a vision from the past that you had about somebody who's been trying to imitate you, possibly a Scorpio or someone who's got that in their chart. It's coming, it's like it's manifesting now, okay? And you're gonna see it in the distant future, okay? Some of you, y'all didn't realize that there was somebody who was trying to tie themselves to you ghost rider energy like i feel like there's somebody here who's kind of been siphoning energy from you you may have gotten some kind of heads up from your ancestors about the situation they wanted you to be aware that somebody was siphoning your energy okay i feel like some of y'all may have been no it's not that yes it was okay it most certainly was okay what do they need to know specifically what's their message for this week way too many what is leo's message this week what do they need to know i heard walk like you talk like you too ooh, ooh. <laughs> you see it's true you want to be like me this could have been somebody who you were mentoring oh there's somebody here you're mentoring or who was trying to attach themselves to you because you've either got some kind of level of fame to your name or you just make shit happen okay yeah like people see you when you show up you looking good smelling good and it's like people are wanting to connect themselves to you um could be a sagittarius could be a scorpio but there's there is some kind of offer that you may be receiving this week okay looks like a financial one i feel like there may also be a sagittarius who is coming trying to yeah somebody's trying to come in and seal some kind of deal or partnership this could even be switching up your insurances and things of that nature people trying to come and get you on board with like i feel like you're going to be getting a whole lot of offers this week leo yeah a whole lot of offers this week Okay, and it looks like contracts. People wanting you to sign contracts and to connect with them. I feel like the need to tell you to be very mindful of the contracts that you do sign because I feel like they may be coming really quickly. Um, and this kind of looks like in regards to your... Ooh, we got divorce out here. Okay, so you ended something with somebody and they was mad about it. Shocker. Uh <laughs> I hate to see you go love to watch leave okay um i see somebody uh, i'm not saying being left at the altar this looks like something that has matured there was a lot of aggression here not being able to get on the same page not being able to see each other's you know side of the story this person's trying to match your energy and i feel like you left this you left them okay you didn't I'm, I'm getting you didn't want anything from this person like left the ring on the table you left something behind and you're not looking back okay um and i feel like the second that you do this like a lot of opportunities are coming in for you like left and right you've got people over here like i feel like you may get invited to a house party this week a lot of like i heard shenanigans there's gonna be a lot of shenanigans going on this week for you to get into definitely see that okay um i also get that there may be some kind of trip like a girl's trip or guy's trip or something being planned somebody is trying to get you to go in with them 
Okay, I feel like a fresh start. There's just like a huge, like you're getting a fresh start or a new look at life this week. And it's like there are opportunities coming in like almost to where, I'm not going to say you're overwhelmed, but it's like you need to take your time and think about, you know, which ones you're wanting to invest in. Okay, um, I feel like there may also be someone who is like a really good friend of yours or who is really loyal to you that may be offering you something um in like this week but I don't feel like you're gonna take it it's like there's too many things that are happening around you like I, I also just get this vibe of, to tell you you know don't forget <laughs> about the people who were loyal to you even when you were going through you know all of the crap in a certain cycle or a certain relationship something that you had just gotten out of I feel like you Maybe like um, getting so swept up in all the offers this week that are coming in left and right that you're completely forgetting about the people who were loyal to you from the beginning, okay, who rode that bus with you. You know, you got off and I feel like you may kind of be in some kind of party mode, okay. Be mindful of that this week, all right. I also feel like you may have had some kind of, look, there's somebody from your past who's wanting to come in and visit you, okay? I feel like that person, I'm not, not for everybody, but there is a clown over here wanting to come in and visit you to be mindful of. Could be a Sagittarius, Scorpio, like I said. Um, but I definitely get that you are trying to make a decision this week in regards to what you love like love and money okay um contracts balance i'm also seeing um spas i'm seeing spas okay like i'm seeing hot stone therapy for some of you um you're looking at ways to treat yourself like i heard treat yourself so some of y'all are really in that energy of that treat yourself energy some of y'all got out of something so um harsh like a harsh ending that you just went through to where it's like you're realizing that you either like why making all this money i'm gonna spend it all myself like i feel like that's really where you're at <laughs> this week is in that treat yourself like Life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. I feel like you have completely written somebody off this week. Like, you're not even looking back. The fact that that's over there, all right, um, I feel like there is, like, you're opening up yourself to a new way of seeing, new way of being. It's like there is somebody who is trying to stay attached to you, but I don't feel like um, you're paying this person any attention, Okay, uh, you may have already gotten visions on how this person is going to respond to you. This is actually something that is in the process of manifesting. I feel like you may have somebody who is kind of like stalking you from a distance. I don't know why I feel the need to tell you that. But they are. This person, this could be like even an ex-friend. Somebody here who you may have closed a cycle out with or closed something out with. And it's like this person's going to start trying to dress like you or look like you in some type of way, okay? Um, <laughs> or you're going to see that in the in the near future. This is a spouse. It's like all the things that you had told them that you wanted them to do, they're actually going to start doing, okay? Um, I feel like they wouldn't do it while y'all were together or while you were dealing with them. But now they're doing all these things that you suggested because you're not looking at them. Okay. Um, <laughs> like this gives me like this energy of possibly giving someone an ultimatum. Like telling them what you want. And it's like they never would fully. They're like, oh, Leo's going to forgive me. Leo will be back. It's fine. I can do this. They'll be back. They'll never actually leave. Um. I feel like you left. <laughs> I feel like you left. You're about to start seeing, like, I feel like this week you may start seeing certain changes that this person is, um, it's either they're asking people about, you know, you, what you're doing, and it's like they're seeing that you're literally uh, living your best life out here, okay? Uh, it may be on screen, in pictures, social media, all right? I'm also seeing something about texts. There are texts. Okay. This person this week is about to start trying to... They're making plans for their future and they still see you in it. I feel like 
I don't see you as worried about this. I see this person is going to be showing up differently. And you're going to see little things that they're doing that are what you had asked for previously, but they weren't willing to give it to you at that point in time. But because you left them, now they're doing the things. It's like contracts, previous contracts. Like if you told this person you wanted them to get a car, get a truck, uh, get get a job, shit, okay? Um, I feel like this person's actually going out and doing those things now. If there's somebody here who you had told them it's either do this or I'm out, or, you know, there's some kind of ultimatum you gave this person. Um, they didn't take you serious. They're taking you seriously now. You're about to start seeing them this week. It's like they're starting to do all the things. It's going to take them a while to be able to completely morph into the things that you've asked. I'm just letting you know. For those of you who are thinking about entertaining it again, I know that's not all of y'all. But for those of you who are, it's going to take this person a minute. <laughs> they're still a knight, okay? They're not showing up in... Um, king energy queen energy none of that they're showing up as a knight. i mean that's a step up from a page you know they're not just talking about doing things this week they're actually starting to make some kind of progress oh my goodness it's like there's a nagging thought that they have of something that you said to them like you may have pulled your energy back from them completely even if you've got contracts and it's like they're seeing you go out and do all the things it's like damn if I would have just listened to Leo you know we'd be doing all those things together like there's somebody here who was trying to put themselves in in league with you okay like you close the door like I see you close the door moved away from the door he's still on the other side of the door trying to open the door like throwing knobs at the door trying to open the door it ain't opening and like I'm not I hope that's not something that's legitimately happening but I mean saying all the things but I feel like this person is you know getting a little bit worried about how much time uh you've been apart they're over here looking at the clock now like uh like, I'm seeing this person walk up to, like, the clock's taking, like, they're, they're opening the door, and then you're, you're really not there. They expected you to be on the other side of that door. They did. <laughs> this week, they they see that you ain't, okay? So, this week, this person's actually going to start making uh, progress. Mm -hmm. I'm also getting progress reports. Check y'all's kids' progress reports for those of you who that applies. Okay, you may have a child here who is either overlooking it or trying not to be seen. They need, they got something that they want to do this weekend, and they know if you see this progress report, you're not going to let them do it. Okay, that's kind of what that's giving me. Okay. Yeah, that's definitely what I'm seeing this week. Somebody's actually doing what you asked them to damn took you long enough is what i'm getting took you long enough okay well i'm gonna ask how are y'all gonna feel about the way that this person is showing up this week how are you gonna feel about it <laughs> indifferent how are you gonna feel about it you gonna feel indifferent uh how are you gonna feel about the way that this person is showing up this week Like, I feel like you might have waited on this person to do all the things, okay? How you're going to feel about it, I feel like you're going to, you're going to get some kind of sense of relief, but it's like, I don't feel like you're really going to dwell on it. I feel like you wanted to be outside for quite some time, and I see you as actually stepping outside. Or some of you, I'm telling you, taking trips, all right? For some of y'all, y'all just wanted to take some kind of trip by yourself, or you knew that you wouldn't be able to take a trip by yourself. You would have to go with this person. For some of you, I do see like a short, if it's not a divorce, like a separation that's happened, okay? I feel like it was necessary, okay? You look in your phone, I look in my phone top energy, okay? I feel like it's bringing you some kind of peace, but it's also bringing you some kind of forward movement where there was none. Like, I feel like there is someone who you felt like was wasting your time, and they were out here in these streets doing all the things, okay? You boss up. You bossed up. Not you're bossing up now. I feel like you've already done this, okay? And how you're going to see this person, like how you're going to feel about it. I don't see any feelings out here, y'all, to be completely honest, but but you're on that. It's about damn time. Like, you've wasted a lot of time. Like, I feel like that's really where you're at. You're not, like, all happy, all, you know, super excited about this person getting it together, but you're like, 
finally, for some of you, you may have kids with this person, finally, you're stepping up to the plate and handling something for your child. It's about damn time, like I said, okay? <laughs> what else do I need to know this week? <laughs> they was listening to that friend. Look, I heard, I got Ghost Rider and then somebody, you know, Ghost Rider. They've had a friend who was in their ear who has been, you know, telling them how to actually respond. I feel like the same friend is, is somebody who y'all hung out with. For those of you who, you know, this, this friend was not giving them good advice. I feel like there may have been a friend who they were listening to. Uh, to try to get them to party and do all the things. And they, they chose the friend over you thinking, oh, well, I'm stuck. Or we've got a kid together. We're married together. We've got some kind of contract. We're together. You're not going to be the one to step out. You actually did. Okay. I feel like somebody is realizing that they shouldn't have listened to the things that their friend was saying. Because their friend was either like a dweeb, a, a dork or something. Like the friend just needed somebody to hang out with. And they're realizing that they lost out on something good. Okay, for listening to a friend. And it's like, I feel like there is, somebody was wanting to get out the house. And I see this has been a situation that has allowed you to kind of uncage yourself and move forward. Because there was some kind of friendship or like, a friendship that was affecting some kind of love dynamic or love partnership. Like the third wheel type energy. There was a third wheel who was interfering on a love partnership and relationship. I see somebody being really upset that they listened to this third party this week. Okay. But I see you as, you know, putting yourself out there. Um, detaching from anything that was causing you anxiety or fear. Okay. And, like, living your life. You're getting outside, okay? Like, for some of you, you're going to be outside, like, a lot more than you previously were. I feel like you may actually be releasing the energy of, like, I don't know if you had to fight with this person or was always a fight with this person to the point where y'all are in y'all's phones not speaking. You're detaching from that energy this week, okay? For some of you, you may be solidifying some kind of contract as well. All right, I want to pull y'all a positive affirmation for the week for the Leos. Oh, and I just threw them all on the floor. We'll go with this one, though. Eight of hearts. My potential to succeed is infinite. It's like I feel like you are, um, you're putting more faith in yourself than you are in partnerships, okay? Like, the only person you truly need to listen to is yourself, okay? We've also got, let's see, Queen of Wands. I feed my spirit. I train my body. I focus my mind. It is my time. Somebody's finally stepping out, leaving behind the old way of doing things and making a new way. Not just stepping into a new way of being and doing for you. It's like you're creating your own happiness. Mm -hmm. Leaving the past in the past. Anyways, it looks really good, Leo. Don't forget to like the video, share, subscribe. If you need me, you know, all the information is listed in the description box below. Love you. Bye.